Hi, I'm going to show you how to find outliers with SQL. So we want to be able to find the days with the outliers. The concepts we're going to be using is the mean, the standard deviation, normal distribution, and z-score. The SQL functions that we're going to be using are the aggregation functions and the window function. So how do we calculate outliers? We use a normal distribution and z-score. The normal distribution gives us the bell curve and tells us that 99.7% of all our data will fall within three standard deviations of the mean. Within two standard deviations of the mean, we have 95% of our data. We can use the z-score to give us the position on that bell curve. And we can use this formula to help us find that. And when we calculate the z-score, we can see that the z-score falls within the same points of standard deviation. So we'll use that score to calculate where our outliers lie. So let's explore the data first just using some simple select queries. And we just want to select everything within that data set using a wildcard. So we're going to select using the star key for wildcard. And then our table is called web data because it's data for a user. So I'm going to run that and we can see that we have a date and we have the users. There are 211 rows in this data set and we want to find the outlier. We can start building our query of the columns that we want. We can use the select statement. We want to select and then we want to select from a web data table. And what do we want to select? We want to select the date. We definitely want to see users. And the only reason this is in brackets is because it's just because I auto selected it. You can definitely put this in brackets, but it's not needed. That'll eliminate that little red mark. And if you see, if we run this, we should get the same results and you can see that query builds on top of each other. So we have the date and the users. Now we want to be able to get that z-score. The z-score is just the value that we have, the mean, and the standard deviation. So we're going to subtract the value. We're going to subtract the mean from the value and divide by the standard deviation. So let's build that. So now we have our user minus we're going to use the average, average function. And now we're going to use the data, which is users. But we're not finished yet because we want the mean of over the total data set. So in order to get that, we just use over function. Now we have the first part of our calculation. Now we're going to divide that by the standard deviation function. We also are going to use user. And again, we want the standard deviation over the whole data set. So over. And we also want to give this a name as z-score. So let's run this query to see what we get. And we're just going to highlight that and run it. And now you see we have a z-score. That z-score is going to help us establish where our outlier days are. So we know that this over is our window functions. And that means we're taking all the data within the window. We're using our aggregation functions here. And now we want to find out where we should draw the line for our outliers. We know from our data that anything three standard deviations should have 99.7% of all our data. So we know that 99.73% Point seven three percent of our data is going to fall within these three standard deviations. So let's find the days that fall outside of this rule. And what we can do is we can bring in this to get a better idea of where is the z-score. And we can see anything that is above or below 2.57 
six for our z-score would fall 97 percent so let's create another table and we'll call this extreme extreme outliers and all we're going to do is copy our query again and we're going to turn that into a subquery so we're going to put it in parentheses give it a name score table and all we're going to do is select everything from this table however let's only bring back so we can use a where condition z-score is above or below our threshold of 2.576 so where z-score is greater than 2.576 and also or z-score is less than 2.576 and we need to make this one negative so we select everything from this and we call this as score table and let's run this and make sure we spell select correctly and if we just highlight this and run this, you can see that we don't get any data back. That means we don't have any extreme outliers. So if we copy this again, and we call this outliers to standard deviations and above, that's below our mean, so now we can change that to two standard deviations and we can bring back our table and we can see that anything that is 0 0.960 z-score is going to bring us back anything that falls outside of two standard deviations. We can change this to 96 and let's run that to see our results. So let's highlight that, execute. And you can see we have two days that fell within those two standard deviations. And both of those gave us low days. And you can, if we take a look at those particular dates, we can see those are holidays in which if one is Christmas and the other one is New Year's. Let's bring back one more just so we can see one standard deviation so now that we have that code we just need to let's say one standard deviation we can go back to our table and we can see 1.65 which is one standard deviation that gives us 95 percent change this to 1.65 and let's run both of these so we're going to highlight all of this and then we're going to execute and now you can see that we have 10 days in which we've had outliers and two days for outliers out of two standard deviations. I hope that helps you to find outliers in your data. If you would like to see other methods such as the box plot method or any other ways to find outliers, please let me know. Like and subscribe.